Hey guys, today I'm back with a review this time, changing it up a bit. And this is a review of the Great War Allies crate, as you can see here. It's a, uh, it was released a little bit by Brick Art, but I thought I'd just go ahead and do a review because I thought it was pretty cool. And just to start off with the packaging, it comes in the new Brick Arms style packaging where they did the little uh, plastic cover and stuff. It's pretty cool, I thought. It's, it's kind of better than the old uh, plastic baggies and stuff, as you can see over here with the Pack 38 that I have. And it's just got some basic including stuff in it, and then a nice picture on the back. And I like the just the front and stuff. It's pretty cool. And just to start on the actually what comes in the pack, uh, just to start off with some basic stuff, it comes with a pickaxe, which it's the pickaxe, just nothing special, and a shovel. I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. So if you want to do something in your trenches, and then over here there's the trench knife, which is actually a prototype by Brick Arms. I already have one of these, but you know it's nice to pick up a second one. Uh, the artillery shell, which I thought was pretty cool. It's not a huge difference in the normal artillery shell. I think I have one over here real quick. Let me just grab it. Yeah, right here. It's the size is basically the same. There you go. With the bottom, I don't know if you can really see that well. I'll look at the camera real quick. But sorry for that. That was a. But the size isn't super big difference. But you know, it's kind of nice. It's better if it's more with the game, like off of one stuff. It has a little primer in the back there, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll just keep on the camera so I get to very close. And then we have a Yips map, which I thought was kind of nice because it actually shows the fronts and stuff. Uh, my thumb's kind of in the way, but you can see that. And then a uh, little the real cheese, as the uh, Lando always called it, and I thought that was a nice in inclusion. And some bread, which I think is just a normal piece from Lego. A plate right here, and then this wine bottle, which I thought was pretty cool. I've always, actually never had one of these before. I had a lot of Legos, but never actually had like a, just a plain wine bottle. And then it has the little uh, French flag and stuff. So I thought that was a nice inclusion. I could use that for a lot of things, small top cocktails or something. And then the little uh, record player with the God Save the Queen, or King, I think it says. Yeah, God Save the King, duh. But right down there, I didn't even really see it. But that's kind of nice. And then the Vickers crate, which I thought was one of my favorite parts with the printing and stuff. It says, chest Vickers or Lewis, what does that say? Something inch, machine gun, MK3, and then some letters in black, which are really, really hard to read. I don't know if you can read but... And then the main part of the kit, which I was the main reason I bought it for, was the Vickers machine gun, which I thought was really nice made. It's uh, the chain, uh, the ammo chain with the little white, that's really nice. And then the actual gun, I like the back oh, back part right here with the little hand grip, that's really cool. And then the water cool front, I thought that was just a nice inclusion. But overall, I'd really recommend this if you could pick it up maybe on eBay or something. I think I've seen a few selling, but it was really worth it. And uh, that's it for this today's video, but just want to remind y'all just to subscribe and like the video and comment if you want to see anything else.